Don't fucking stop recording. Let's do the theme song. Red time. talk, motherfucker. Get dead with it. He did it. He shit it all over. What a fake bitches, man. I kind of smoke a dead. Kicking ass on the side. Bringing that flavor. She elevating the vibe. Boom, bitty vibe. I who's getting high. Everybody is bitch. Watch your time flies with that real talk with a steel car. Take stitches with a twist and your chin on your face. Yes, podcast basics. Ace it. Go with eight shit. Up the end when they blaze and I take it in. From the gays to the scum to the friends. Every Wednesday when the day is all enemies wish they had this energy. This is rad talk. Catch an ice bag injury. Y'all moving like a motherfucking centipede. We accelerate just to devastate the industry. Horse got the boss weight. This could be the enemy. Turn that fucking mic on. I guess we'll have to see rat talk. Oh, yeah, everybody. We start a new episode of fucking rat talk, and it's a completely different environment right now. Completely Holy different. Holy shit. Welcome, my good guest and best friend, Vincent Simpson. How's it going, sir? Glad that you can make it for this uh, nice special occasion. Thanks for having me for your first live podcast. Hey, dude. Definitely Thanks different. Thanks for coming down, yeah. You know, Did you ever think that it would be it would be at this spot? It would nah, be at this I honestly right now? thought it would be out of the garage forever. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was such a comfortable spot. But now that we yeah, have I it, told you, I got ambitions, man. I got yeah, dreams. I want to fucking take this shit places. Let's make it happen. Yeah, I'm trying to find the flyer. But anyway, we're here at uh, the Pacific Plate Brewing Company, uh, home in uh, Monrovia, California which is just right up the street for us, uh, for those that are in Almani. So anybody that is catching the live feed right now that is like, huh, I'm just sitting on my ass not doing anything. Come on by. <clears throat> Look, and then Ryan D's already on there. Ryan D's actually sitting right over there, too. So I don't, know why, I don't know why D. he's watching us through the guy, his own phone. Because <clears throat> he can. I know, right? But, no oh, man, do, I look, do we look white right now yeah. with that fucking live, that well, fucking camera angle? I've always been white. Sorry, but sorry. anyway, but... The, uh, we're here with Pacific, and Pacific Plate. They're celebrating their five-year anniversary, dude. Have you, have you even been here before? I have been here before, but I've never been here where it's been this busy. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, they've obviously grown a business. That's what uh, that's what businesses do usually. They uh, attract people. Bye, Amanda. We're saying bye to Amanda. Yeah. Amanda has here? to leave. She has work. You want to say hi to everybody? Say hi to everybody before you go. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. I got to go to work because... Life. got to go to work. <laughs> Understood. Besitos. Sorry, you're right in the yeah. Sorry, you're right in the middle of that. <clears throat> it's all good. But well, fuck yeah, man! Like shit, doing a live show. What do you know? We're doing a live show. Know, we're man. streaming live to Facebook. But uh, as we were saying, this is a brewery. If you haven't noticed, that uh, we do like to drink beer on this podcast. And uh, what what better what, what better place than to host a first uh, live show than a brewery, right? No better place, honestly. And they're going to be having yeah. some uh, live bands later. Mm-hmm. We're gonna see yes, they're going to have up. live music uh, coming through the show. I think I'm just going to let the uh, the recorder play and uh, let the let the folks at home hear the bands too. Yeah, That's play me. it through. Mm-hmm. They can be here with us while we enjoy Dude, it as and well. Then that, yeah, and then we can add that to our like my whole uh, lineup that why that uh you know like do a live podcast with the band too like have a have a show. That's, like, a, like a different showcase. That's the first. Mm-hmm. There you go. You know, I I do I am doing the acoustic sets. I do I did the acoustic sets with uh, the Gargoyles, uh, the band oh, uh, yeah. from way I, back I, in the day. I did see that episode. And yes. uh, and actually, we haven't confirmed a date yet, but later on, uh, sometime this month, I'm gonna have the Syndicates. The Syndicates. Yes, and they are actually gonna come and do a live set also on on one of the recordings. Have you had them on the show before? I have not. Nope. There you I have go. not had them on the okay. show before. Yeah, this is a live brand new set. band. Mm-hmm. Nice. Doing a live set. And uh, the dude, motherfucker, plays like a big ass stand up bass. It's a guitar, the stand up bass, and drums. They're, they're a three piece. And uh, and I'm actually really looking forward, uh, forward to that. Our good friend uh, Scott Chow actually is in that band. You know Scott? Scott Chow. Yeah, do you know Scott? I'm pretty sure you know Scott. I might know Scott. <clears throat> Everybody knows who Scott is. Ryan knows who Scott is. But shout yeah, out Scott, Scott. yeah, shout, Scott Chow is going to be on the show we, uh, with his band, The Syndicates, coming around these months. And fuck, dude, I've been I've been really grinding on this fucking podcast thing, man. I've been really trying to, to get my name out there. And uh, I actually even got a shout out from uh, Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman last night. Oh, that's right. You said you went to the, the Babylon. Up yeah, the, the Hollywood Babylon. Yeah, show. yeah that's mm-hmm. right. That's right. Yeah, they uh, they read my email. Uh, Amanda was a little embarrassed. Because I mentioned some butt stuff, but hey, that's uh, that's what you got to do to try to get uh, your name out there, man. You got to make a bunch of anal jokes. I mean, I guess whatever works. <laughs> yeah, man. And the best thing about it is, like, nobody knows if they're real or true. That's it's true. Like, it's like it's the it's the mystery game that that I'm playing right there. Good point. Mm-hmm. But uh, it was a fucking great time, dude. Actually, so I wrote I wrote the email, and uh, I th- this was my second Babylon that I attended. The first time I attended, I did write an, I did write a shout out also, but it didn't get read. 
it was a jam-packed house dude so when we were there last night we were uh, hanging out and i was looking around and i was like all right it's not it's not as packed as uh as before so our, i think my shout out's gonna get read and my, amanda's yeah. like you have a shout out how do they uh determine who they the shout out it just random it's random okay yep, it's it's random it's whoever uh it's who you know everybody writes in and ralph picks his favorite ones and do you write him before you go to the show you write before you go to the show oh, you can okay. write, you can write him the day of the show but you have to write it kind of early in the you know during the day or gotcha. uh, I wrote them uh, the day before the show. Oh, there you and go. And that was the first shout out, dude. I was the first shout out that got read that night. How many and, others got read? Uh, th- he does like five or six. That's depending. still cool. Yeah, depending. But, dude, yeah, it, it was, it made me fangirl really fucking hard, dude. I bet, I bet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, yeah, he, because I, I signed it, uh, Matt the Rat. And so he said it. He was like, is Matt the Rat here? I was like, oh, fuck, that's me. That is funny. <laughs> yeah, dude, I got all giddy and shit. You can see my spot. I have the, I, I posted a picture uh, of, of me and Ralph and, uh, and Kevin Smith. with On Amanda. the uh, Instagram? On Instagram and Facebook and everything. I'm, a lot of people have already saw it. Y'all and, can uh, all go like that Dude, you can Instagram. see I have the fucking dumbest looking face, man. I have oh, yeah. such a goddamn, I yeah, I have such like a goober like look a to me. Kid. I look like a fucking moron, dude. For those who but, don't know what we're talking about, that picture's up on Instagram. Oh, yeah, you the, can see uh, it. Of course, yeah, I posted Rap it up. Talk yeah, username. Everybody that follows the page and everything, you can see it there. Yep. <clears throat> but fuck, man, this is actually pretty cool. There's a lot of, it's a very lot of cool. people walking, walking And we got an extra mic in case anybody ever feels like uh, coming on down. Yeah, know? which they will. People are people will catch on. Actually, Come on uh, I want to get this guy's attention right. This is uh, Steven, uh, who's the one of the owners of the brewery. Yeah, we can yeah, have so Steven we, sit yeah, down we need, and talk we with need us. to have a conversation a with little, him. Uh, but uh, let's talk about the fucking beer that they have here, dude. They, oh, uh, I just tried the uh, pickle. The pickled Rick. Ricky. Pickle yeah, Ricky. it's got sriracha yeah. in it, dude. It was um, was an experimental IPA. Mm-hmm. So it's got the sriracha and it's got a lot of citra hops in it. A lot of people came because of the name. For sure because of the name. Like, they're all like, Pickle Ricky. Yeah. Oh, Pickle Ricky. Yeah. Yeah. Because and they also have the... the um, Rick. What's that? This Rainbow Sherbert Stout or something like that? That is actually one of their special uh, IPAs that they made just for this occasion for yeah. uh, the for the five year anniversary, and um, and then not only that, they do have a five year anniversary double IPA. Oh, you can't beat a double IPA. Coming Dude, in that about shit 7%. is fucking strong. It is such a fucking potent drink. It's ten percent. 10%. But it's super good, dude. It is really fucking good. Like they have some really good. They have some really good. Have you? What have you tried from here? I've uh, come here on different occasions where they have. Uh, it always changes the taps, so yeah. it's never the same, really. But they have. I, they I mean, have the, the Orchata Stout is uh, kind of a, a staple one. here. Mm-hmm. Tried that uh, one. And before. the Mango IPA. Had the Mango before, and I had their. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, what about the night? I think it was like 1940. IPA no, or something there, like that? there was like the, uh, the Irish type of uh, beer. Mm, I can't remember that one. I forgot the name. Of it's it. an Irish beer. Yeah. I is forgot. it still is it still up here? Did you notice yeah, it? It might be up there. Yeah, yeah. Honestly. Well, anyway, they fucking they brought out all the stops today. They they yeah. actually have a really good uh, German Kolsch too. That uh, that they German uh, Kolsch. German Kolsch. Jawohl. <laughs> But it's really refreshing, man. Like they, they have some really good, like they're nice, crisp, and it's all really extravagant beers. It's like that's the thing about this place too, is that they like Orchata Stout. I never heard of until this place. Uh, mango IPA. I've actually, I've actually had a mango I, IPA before at uh, BJ's. This okay. one, this one's a lot better. The one, yeah, the ones that they brew here is a lot better. And the guava IPA. Have you ever had guava? The guava IPA? IPA sounds pretty good, actually. I'm a big fan of guava itself. I don't think they have it on tap, but I'm pretty sure they have cans of it right now. But that one, that one is really refreshing. That's like a very crisp citra hopped IPA. That's one that's, I gotta try. Yeah, that's it's like uh, it, it goes down really smooth. I, I'm not sure if it's a session though, because I'm not too keen on the uh, on the uh, percent session session IPA. Yeah, it's, I'm not sure how exactly how light it is or what the uh, the alcohol percentages on it but yeah, the stronger the better i see mm-hmm. but they yeah, have some busy. really fucking good brews here yeah, it's getting real busy yeah, there's know, a lot right. of people come on down everybody yeah why not come on <clears throat> but uh the nice thing about this is um it brings a lot of people together you see a lot of locals here mm-hmm. yes actually um there's a uh, there's this barbecue place it smells really fucking good this little barbecue truck yeah they got they a got truck right outside i can't see i need to i i need to fucking pull up the flyer because that way i can tell yeah, you who up. is here I'll what give is everybody here the lowdown. yeah where so is... yeah you come into pacific plate brewery you um take a look inside 
It's a nice little warehouse style brewery. Mm-hmm. Got some nice seating, some booths, and along the wall you notice they'll have paintings for sale. So you can come on. Yeah, down, we can. Yeah, we can. We can turn the camera, flip want. the camera around, and show everybody too. All right, it's so a nice environment. Big Slim's Barbecue is here, and we have Ice Above Ice Cream Truck, which are giving out popsicles right here. They're the three dollar popsicles. Those, yep. Apparently, what their popsicles are, they're made. They're made for beer. Wait, wait, made for beer, as in, as in, you can you buy a popsicle, and when you're your sipping beer? on your beer, you put it in your beer. Huh. Yeah. A little flavor. I don't know saver. what it does to it, but I mean, it, you you Makes put it, it in your beer. a little sweet, yeah. I assume. Mm-hmm. Doesn't sound bad. So I know, dude. It's not. Yeah. It's it's today. Not, uh, <clears throat> there you go. The we got dead the at midnight coming tonight. The Steadians or the the yeah. No. The Steadians. I can't read that. The Stedians. Stedians, right? Stedians. We got SGV vibes. And an SGV vibes at seven o'clock. So the first band that you, the band that you guys will probably hear is the Stedians. Uh, they're busy right now setting up and saying hi to the their fans and everything. It looks pretty cool. <clears throat> but this is a really cool event actually that uh, Vicky put together. Ryan's girlfriend. Shout out to she, Vicky. Yeah, she was the one that actually threw, put it all together. Got the uh, the food trucks and. Uh, we got the bands that played, and Ryan D is actually be doing a comedy show tonight. Also, oh, after so the bands, yeah, after the bands are done, uh, right after that, it's going to be followed up with a comedy night with Ryan D. And we'll be hanging out and, here, so uh, come on by. Feel free to say hello. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, and then look at that, Ryan D is going to come over right now and have me some food. Oh, okay, sounds yeah. nice. <laughs> there you go. What'd you get? What'd you bring me? He called it. He, he brought him okay. a, a bite of a sandwich. I know, bite of a sandwich. Yeah, you can throw that. You can throw that on. It's all hooked up. Sit down. How you doing, Ryan? What's up, you fucks? Just hey. <clears throat> I don't have headphones on, so I can't hear you. But what's up? All oh, right some here. White ones. Look at that. What? We got headphones right there, Look bro. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> my mouth is all full and shit. Yeah, don't talk with your mouth full. What's up, you filthy heart. motherfucker? Just hanging out, drinking some beer. I know, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for sitting in with me right now. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing anything. Can I say hello? Mm-hmm. You can say hello. Hello. To the Hello. Actually, we were just talking about all the acts that uh, Vicky got together. How she was the one that put all this. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, she did a great sure. job. She did do a good job. It's a great okay, turnout. It's been uh, it's been pretty awesome here. Yesterday was was a lot of. I heard it was really a lot of fun. I wasn't here, but yesterday was actually it was a lot of fun. This is an all weekend ordeal too. So if you don't make it today, you can come by tomorrow, and they still got shit going on tomorrow. Oh, oh no, you got here, else. Why don't you? Uh, did you did you show them show the people around? Yeah, show them around. Show them around. Show them this guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, Tyler? Hey. Say hello. Hey guys. Welcome. Yep, we're recording yeah, a podcast right now, brother. We're just uh, mm-hmm. finishing up a podcast. They got the food truck right. outside. Anyway, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a cool cool thing. What's up, dude? How, you doing? how long? Uh, how long has she been planning this for? Uh, how long again? Dude, we only had we all, we we had uh, four weeks to put this together. A month? That's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, so that's actually a lot. Dude. A lot to put together in a whole month, a whole yeah. weekend of activities. We had so many people mm-hmm. fucking cancel, and like it was just just oh, so, like stressful, like for her, you know, especially because she's she's also on top of this every week doing new events for at the brewery and shit. So at the uh, Glendale location. Well, Glendale and here, but and here? apparently, mm-hmm. actually, they I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I know, but I think they're going to eventually have to announce it, but they're, they're going to have to shut down the Glendale spot. Oh, yeah, maybe shame. you probably shouldn't have mentioned that right now. Well, <laughs> I, I, he's right here, but yeah. he's the one who told me that the, the owner's selling the building, so he didn't really give him the uh, choice. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Which happens, you know, what can you do? Landlord landlord issues? Yeah. You're so, only uh, there on a fucking lease. It's fine. I, mm-hmm. The Monrovia spot is much better, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah, I yeah, like, definitely it is. Like, it's, it's really fucking cool in here. Like, it's like a kind of a garage-style warehouse Feel. Yeah, totally. Well, mm-hmm. it's it's unfortunate that Monrovia has like so many restrictions on shit. So they ha- mm-hmm. so like literally for this weekend they had to pay uh, for for like three different permits. Yeah, which is a like fucking, for the parking lot and the noise. Yeah, it's a real and, headache. Yeah. For, Dude, uh, the cops showed up yesterday. Actually, I know. I know. Oh, wow. Apparently, you there's a bit of, apparently there's a bit of drama. There was a there's there's. Uh, there was a petition to not make sure this didn't happen. There or? there is there is somebody whose butt is a little hurt. From leaving this business, that apparently ah. is the person that called the police. Ah, really? Yeah. Uh, that's the rumor right now. That's, yeah, that's, that's what's a... that's what's circulating right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a shame. We'll see how true. Yeah, we'll see how true that is. Yeah. Um, somebody, somebody trying to sabotage us. Yeah. Apparently. Well, I mean, fuck. It, it's obviously doing very well. This place is fucking packed right now. 
Yeah, it looks like it's, it's only going to get any better, dude. I got here last night at 9.30. And it was still and pretty it was full? fucking packed, like, to the gills. Everyone was still here partying. Oh, shit. Until, literally, until mm-hmm. that, like, they couldn't they couldn't serve one more drop of alcohol, which is after 10. Yeah, yeah, because wow. rules, you know? <laughs> yeah, regulations. But, but I mean, you... The, this isn't the first good turnout that you've had. I mean, you've also thrown your comedy show here last month. The last, last comedy month. show, mm-hmm. last, uh, like, a couple Saturdays ago. Yeah, it was That was packed. a really good turnout, dude. You should, no. you, should definitely come to the, yeah, you should definitely come to the one here. Well, I mean, always no. go to the one at the dollar. Gonna, <laughs> always go to the one at the we're dollar. Gonna up, we're going to end up doing one here two Saturdays a month. So. Two Saturdays a month? Okay, yeah. so a little more frequent. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually because really, there were people here that were, you know, complete strangers that specifically came for the comedy night. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just heard about it came through. So mm-hmm. I'm not sure how tonight's going to go because a lot of these people are going to end up staying here all fucking day. So we're going to have a lot of loaded people for the hey. comedy. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. So we'll see, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But we do have better speakers. So maybe I'll have. Uh, I noticed that. Yeah, you could have <laughs> so used maybe, that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll be able to. Well, it's not. It's the uh, one of the bands here. It's their PA system. So, ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> they saw, they, they they saw we, you, these PA yeah, systems. Yeah, they watched like, the videos ah. yesterday and they were like, oh, we need to bring our own PA. There you go. So, yeah. Smart move. Um, okay, so how do you say the first band's name? The Steadians? The Steadians? Steadians. Steadians. Okay, yeah, the Steadians. steadians. That's the, who the, the first band is. The Spaghetti. The Spaghetti Eddies. Spaghetti. The Steadians. They're the ones that are setting up right now and are going to be uh, playing first tonight. Yeah, because they yeah. got another gig. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, there you go. I think. Good for them. Of, either mm-hmm. them or, or the Vibes, dude. SGV mm-hmm. Vibes, shit. Yeah, yeah, but Bel- Belgrave killed it yesterday. Couldn't hear Daniel, but... Saw the videos. Yeah, it's fucking saying, awesome. Oh, uh, he played here yesterday, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and Solar Haze fucking did really good, too. Yeah, they, they always killed it. it. Yeah. You couldn't hear yeah, Those dudes were here. You what? couldn't hear Daniel? No, no, yeah. The vocals vocal sound was kind of... Uh, ah, yeah. that sucks. It those, happens, though. Those dudes were still here when I got here last Who, night. Who, Daniel and Ian? At 945. No. Uh, Solar, Solar Haze, Haze the whole band, and really? all of them fucking loaded. <laughs> so Dude, they were loaded. Getting, yeah, they were, they were drinking a lot. Because they were they like, drink. free beer? All right. Oh, yeah. And, and like, you know, those guys, those guys, I mean, they come on Humcast all the time, and we mm-hmm. get fucked up. with Like, they drink, man. Yeah. So, like... They seem like fucking people that are drink. I mean, all of them are like what six weeks apart. The basis, the basis is like the only well, that's under the only six one, foot. The only one that doesn't drink too much is Ryan. Ryan, the drummer. Oh, okay. He, he just like I've never, but he, he the first time he was on Homecast, he got fucked up. Yeah. It started, it started not making any sense. Oh, he only drinks with you then. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the other Ryan's here. I'm gonna get fucked yeah, up. Yeah. Then. Yeah, and uh, I pre- I, and then I had him on hit the mics. I peer pressured him into taking a few shots with me. But oh, nice! <laughs> there you, go. you beer pressured him. I beer pressured. Beer him. Beer pressured. Did you already talk about the the Babylon thing? Yeah, yeah. He so I mentioned it. it. Yeah, I mentioned it a little bit, dude. That oh man, that shit was so fucking fun. That's uh, awesome, dude. Yeah, I, I, it's funny that you mentioned though the drunk people at a comedy show. Some chick in, that was sitting in front of us, man. Yeah. She was fucked up and like uh-huh. giving her two cents on everything that they were saying and like was like calling them out on whenever they were wrong <laughs> like, like yeah she was being very disruptive and the, the door people came up and they were like hey can you let these guys work yeah like they had to go up to them twice and they and then they got up and went to the bathroom and never came back yeah good yeah, yeah they yeah they the stopped Im- them before they came back the in. the improv's pretty good about that uh there's like there's other clubs that just kind of let shit like that roll though. yeah it's a little like uh they're a little more of the rowdier well like one. the ice house bro like they have like one security guard and, and like, he's in charge of both he's rooms he's in charge of both rooms yeah, yeah so like yeah it, that's fucking it, yeah and it's just one guy you know like so they're like uh, the, the people who like the staff they're they're limited on staff so there's i mean they're, they're constantly running drinks so they don't have time to fuck with anybody who's yeah. being disruptive mm-hmm. they just have that one security guard so if something happens then like the sound guy will have to go leave the booth go oh, tell shit. Them, go tell them. So it's like there's a long time lapse of somebody's being a fucking asshole. Yeah, that there's the, they ha- they have a lot of time to be an asshole before <laughs> yeah, they're kicked yeah, out. Yeah, that's it. But oh man, dude, Rob fucking ripped your new one. It was good, so good. Really? Yeah, it was yeah, really. I can't wait to hear good. it. It'll probably be up next week, right? Yeah, it'll be Monday. Up, yeah, maybe. it'll be up on Monday. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it was a, it was a good shout out. <laughs> so he got he he, he did your, he read your interview during the or your email during the, the shout outs. Yep, during the shout outs, I was the first one. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, dude. I fucking found girl doll hard. My fucking, yeah. <laughs> I know. You look like you're in tears in that photo. Dude, uh, yeah. I mean, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> you look man. like you might have shit your pants. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure you but, did. Yeah. They, they, I was, like, I'm holding it I was actually right just now. really happy that they, they were able to use, you know, you get content for me. Like, it, it felt really honored to do that because when after they read my, when they yeah, were reading they, my uh, email. They, they, shout, they shout out the podcast and everything, right? Too? Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. They, yeah, they oh, asked, that is uh, awesome. Yeah, they asked what, what the podcast was and everything. And Did actually, you ask them to come on? Or uh, Amanda, well, I'll, I'll get to that, actually. 
Uh, Amanda Amanda had the shirt on too. She had uh, the Rat oh, Talk shirt too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after the show, actually, a lot of people were too were were also like, "Hey, it's Matt the Rat. What's up, dude?" No shit, really? Yeah. That's fucking great. Yeah. So yeah, I got a lot of good feedback That's after awesome. that, and then uh, and then actually after the show, um, because uh, we parked out on the street, so we went and made sure that we didn't have a ticket. When we came back, Ralph was at the bar. Okay. Yeah, he's supposedly he's always at the bar, like hanging after out the there. Show? Yeah, after the show. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it makes sense because there was a lot of people there that he was talking to that like seemed like uh, like they they like always they knew him. yeah like they knew him. Yeah. So uh, so of course we went back in there, got another couple drinks, and uh, we do we sat there and talked to him for like a good maybe 40, 45, 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes. There you go. We should get this mm -hmm. guy on right now. It's, yeah, yeah, that's actually what, I, what I'm waiting for. He's the owner right here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Steven. Well, that's why he's talking to those guys. Oh, right there. well, you've been talking to him long enough. I'm going to get him right now. <laughs> but, dude, yeah, I talked to Ralph for like a good 45 minutes, and he, he yeah, actually said, he was the one that actually said, hey, if, uh, if you ever. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we'll hit you up after we're done, dude. Because I don't know what I'm, I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing after this. I just came here to record the show. Mm hmm. Hey, what's up, Steven? <laughs> How are you, Steven? I know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got a mic and headphones set up, dude. See, this is cool, man. Yeah, you just set this up real quick. That's how. That's how easy it is. Let's uh, show all of our fans. Steven. I know. So yeah, this is Steven. This hey, is guys, the owner. Yeah, owner and operator right now of uh, Pacific Plate Brewing Company. And dude, wow! Just congratulations, man, on the whole the whole milestone. Five years. That's a great. That's a long great fucking turnout. time, yeah. And it's such a great turnout too. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And, uh, Why are you holding the mic so weird? <laughs> How do you <laughs> <laughs> criticize the, the, the fucking like you, buddy. the comic is over here? Hey, why are you holding that mic, funny dude? Close to <laughs> Get all up in there, man. But yeah, dude, this is a whole lot of fun. This is a great fucking turnout, dude. Thanks it's, for coming. Yeah, in. yeah. Of course. I mean, shit. You guys, I well. For five years, I've been. I've, me and my dad actually came here for the first time. The first year you guys were open, and uh, and the Orchata Stout, man, that was uh, that was something that kind of changed the game for everybody. And a lot of people that talk about this place, that's one of the first drinks that they mention. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's still on tap today. It's up there, right? Yeah, now. yeah. It's. I mean, it's a it's a great brew, you know. Like, and you're the one that that kind of uh, comes up with the ideas for brewing everything oh, here, right? All, yeah, we got a team of guys. We all work mm -hmm. together. We all. We mm -hmm. what decide we, what we like and move forward with it. What, yeah. What's your personal favorite that you think uh, that's probably the best one you did? Oh, man. I mean, the Blinder Vices are always amazing. I mean, I mm -hmm. love the Nut Brown. The, the Chev Dog's amazing. Some of the, the Kolsch is an amazing beer. Yeah, but yeah. That Rainbow Sherbet that we just released. Dude, yeah, that one. Nice. pretty special. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one is, yeah, that one's really fucking nice, dude. That one's, a, yeah, that one's That's only for the 5th year anniversary? Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to release it in Kansas soon. Yeah, yeah. We're okay. Gonna, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna have a, a camera on you for a little bit, going, <laughs> so that everybody knows your face. Yeah. Now everybody knows what you look like and be like, "Hey, you're the beer guy, motherfucker." <clears throat> but yeah, dude, uh, um, dude, that yeah, that uh, rainbow sherbet one is amazing. How did that? How did you even come up with that? Like, I, who would think like ice cream? Uh, honestly, I think we did it. We came up with that beer. We were in the mini middle of canning. I think the balanced breakfast, mm -hmm. and then we. I don't know. When we're canning, we're standing there filling cans and seaming them, and we just start talking about, oh, this would be a cool idea. Ideas. This would be a cool idea. Mm -hmm. And Rainbow Sherbet came up, and like we're like, oh, we gotta throw Thrifty's ice cream in there. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's the I best mean, one. We added Rainbow Sherbet ice cream to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like <laughs> it's a fucking uh, podcast. Dude. Yeah. We're not gonna. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll, but, I'll talk uh, about that later. Let's see. Uh, it has uh, blood orange, raspberries, and uh, lime, uh, lime extract. Yeah. Oh it's shit! Yeah, yeah. And lactose, very, yeah. very fucking. Oh man, very it's smooth, so yeah. refreshing, dude. Like it. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, the nose smells just like rainbow sherbet. It's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. The one thing that I do like about all of your IPAs is that they're very crisp. They're yeah. very crisp, and they're you know they're easy to drink and very very easy to go down. Appreciate like, it. is that do you do that on purpose oh, yeah. though? Yeah. Yeah, we try to make mm -hmm. sure that you know everyone yeah. can drink more than one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, uh, yeah, like the guava IPA, the guava and mango are for sure. Like the mangoes are good. The guava one, I think I like a little. Personally, I like a little more. I, I do too. Mm -hmm. I, I think guavas go so much better in IPAs, but mm -hmm. mango, you know, mangoes are great too. Yeah, yeah and that, they, dude, they, that, all, they both have their place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that five-year anniversary, man. Woo! Oh, yeah. Dude, that one, I I could only have a taster of it, and then of course my mom's boyfriend last night buys me a full pint, and I was like, I can't fucking drink this, yeah. dude. Like. It's <laughs> 
It is very strong, but and it's the temper center. It's, it, it's wow. so good though. It's Except very, it's very smooth. That's that's the one thing that I really love about it is how smooth it is. Like for a double IPA, there's no, there's hardly any bitterness to it. Like you can taste the hops, but yeah, it's a hazy. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's all about the flavor and you know, good backbone bitterness, but all about that flavor mm -hmm. and the hops. Yeah, I mean, was, was that the goal too to make it a high percentage? Like, yeah. oh, we're gonna, we want, yeah. we want people to remember the this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You oh, gotta go big yeah. on the anniversary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely, and it's, it's, I mean, it's for a limited time too. So you, anybody that's out there that's listening right now, you have to come down and try it. Like, try yeah. all, all of your, all of your fucking beers are great. Yeah. Yeah. It'll guess, be on uh, for the next two weeks, probably. Yeah. Okay. Good. Perfect. Oh, see, there you go. Yeah, it gives everybody enough time. Yeah. I mean. When uh, I mean, would you did you imagine it being coming to this? You know, like it's been a long five years, definitely a lot mm -hmm. of work. Uh, we're still going. We're working on getting some more tanks and increasing production. We're gonna focus on uh, offsite sales and stuff. But, cool, uh, cool. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it always changes, you know. Yeah, and you actually you have always... a have your second location too in Glendale yeah. that you you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you always have a plan, and you know, mm -hmm. you just go. It keeps changing, so you keep going with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as far as like that plan's going, like you, you think it's going, it's going pretty well. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, we didn't think we were going to be doing offsite sales as much at this point. And, and yeah. It's okay. Speeding up. You know, mm -hmm. we were, we were recognized as one of the top uh, fastest growing breweries in, in the nation, actually. Really? Congratulations! No way. Yeah. So we're we're having a good time. You know. Good. The, good. The, I mean, the canning has exploded. Like we, I think we only had like ten accounts last year, and we have over a hundred now. So. Oh shit. Yeah. And was, that's when you started doing the canning stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. when you started canning all of your product. It made oh a big man, difference, yeah. yeah, dude, I had it. I was here for the canning process. Uh, one yeah, of those days. It's yeah, it's it, it's it's work, dude. It's, yeah, really, it's, yeah, process, it's a lot huh? of fucking work. Yeah, but it's I, I think it's rewarding. I mean, it's you, very rewarding you, you though. Like yeah. actually see your progress throughout. The oh day. yeah. You have a pallet of cans by the end of the day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, shit. like we're sitting there putting everything on the pallets, and I was like, dude, like we fucking did yeah. all that today. Like yeah. shit. Like we we probably that day alone, we probably did a little over. Uh, Maybe like a thousand cans or something uh, like that. Nine hundred. We did a uh, hundred cases, hundred twenty cases, I think. So. So that's like four hundred. Yeah. Well, twenty-four times one hundred and twenty. So. Oh shit. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lot of fucking yeah. cans. <laughs> that's what that is. Is a fucking big that's number. A lot of beer. Yeah. yeah, that's a real. That's a real big number. Well, man, dude, congratulations on all of this, dude. Thank it's you. yeah, it's so fucking awesome that you know you have all this setting up, and now you even got live bands going yeah, on in yeah. here. We're gonna have some uh, reggae bands tonight. We have mm -hmm. a comedy show later. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was thinking, how do you, how do you think that's going now? Uh, like the you, comedy is amazing. Yeah, it, it was players. a really good turnout the last time. Yeah, yeah. The acoustic nights are great. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. And then we got uh, a office trivia night coming up this month. Oh shit! Yeah, there you got, go. We got a Dundee sitting up in the front over there. Oh, really? hey. <laughs> that's so fucking yeah. awesome. All right. <laughs> I think it says uh, Pacific Plate Brewing Company. Uh, brewery, ah, so you can uh, win your own Dundee well, when you yeah, come. Bro, oh, yeah. that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Dude, see, it's a lot. Of, dude, that's so good that it's a lot of fun coming here. And I mean, yeah. I actually, you what's the? You have the four dollar Dodger pint special? Yeah, we got four dollar Dodger. When the Dodgers are in the lead, uh, beers are four dollars. See, uh, there you go. If that's they the... win, then it's four dollars all night. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, we got Fuck. five dollars. Hey man, they won today. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 right. It's good. I think that's good when you know the Dodger games are at night. You know, you're yeah. open for a couple hours, Everyone but when. Gets cheer on the Dodgers, yeah, 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 but when when they play at eleven o'clock in the morning and yeah, uh, and they yeah. win that day, you're like, oh, okay, so that's uh. Yeah, people enjoy it though. They still. Oh, of course, drink. yeah, yeah, yeah of course. I mean, and I'm sure everybody just buys more buys yeah. more drinks. That's what it is. Man, that's so awesome, man. It's so it's and congratulations on Thank the whole guys. milestone. Like it's yeah, it's been it's, and it's so fun coming in here. Like if it's a very home feel. You uh, you Thanks. personally do go around and you talk to all the customers. Yeah, we try. We try. We try to get yeah. to know everybody. You know, it's important. Mm -hmm. You can actually learn. You know. What get feedback from about the beer and mm -hmm. you know, there you go. Yeah. make those personal relationships when you actually, you know, you just walk in the door and we should know your name and know who you are. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah. that's awesome, dude. Yeah. What's the? Uh, I, I you actually have a a mug too. What's up with yeah, that? We got yeah, a mug club. Uh, so it's a uh, it's a twenty three ounce mug. So all your pints are served in a mug. When oh you come shit! In. Uh, okay. I think it's ninety nine for the year. But yeah, you get uh, what is that? Seven more ounces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seven yeah, more seven ounces. More ounces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because a uh, pint is sixteen. Yep, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, almost shit. a free tulip per pint. Yeah. There you oh, go. what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. No, I see what yeah. you mean. Yeah, yeah. That is that is a free tulip per pint. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Oh shit! And yeah. and then of course you have your your merch and everything. You could come yep. and buy a t shirt. Yeah, t -shirts. Uh, and yeah. the t-shirts actually come with the beer too. I heard. Uh, yeah. We, we have a, a beer and shirt survival kit. Yeah. Yep. So survival you, kit. Nice. <laughs> so you buy a beer and you get uh, that much off on your t-shirt. Ah, see, there oh, you nice. go. 
Yeah. That's yeah. See, great, great marketing, dude. That's yeah, what that's what it's good. about, dude. Because uh, I mean, <laughs> shit. Look, look at the you know, look how it is. And I love. I actually do love that you guys are paying a lot of homage to metal. You yeah. have a, your oh, metal yeah. Mondays. That's awesome. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Cool. Vicky's been a big part of that. Vicky and Lonnie love mm -hmm. metal Mondays. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm. Oh yeah. I'm sure. V yeah. Again, shout out to Vicky again. She was the one that that did all the you know put all the hard work together, yeah. and it's it's really showing, man. You yeah. know, like you have you have good people that work. Oh there. yeah. We got a good good team of people that are that are working mm -hmm. hard. It, it shows. It shows. Mm -hmm. And you're actually are you you're the mastermind behind Pickle Ricky? <laughs> We were doing an experiment. Yeah, we, yeah. I, yeah. I was one of the ones that named it, and it was a complete experiment. We we knew that it had like sriracha ace, the mm -hmm. hop that we used in it, uh -huh. um, has like a dill character to it. But we we never knew how much it was gonna be. Really? It, it was the first time we made it. It was like, whoa, this is <laughs> this is a lot of dill. I don't know mm -hmm. if we can do this. <laughs> At first, we were like, I don't even know if this beer is I mean, but the name alone is getting a lot of people in oh, there. Yeah. A lot of people no, come in just to... Then we dry hopped it with Citra, and, and mm -hmm. it came out amazing, actually. Like, it's just got this nice, light dill character at the end. And I know. He just, nice. he yeah. just got a pour of it right now. It's actually a pretty cool beer. Mm -hmm. I do like yeah. it, yeah. It's mm -hmm. something that you don't see any, anywhere, really. No, yeah. no. Actually, a lot of your stuff, too, is stuff that you don't really see anywhere, which I think is is really unique to you guys. Yeah, that's, we try, you know, to, that's we your... try to be different, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, and we do traditional stuff, too. Like, our German cold is... On mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that German, yeah, that German coach is good. What'd you get? What'd you get? What beer? What beer are you drinking? This is the uh, five-year anniversary triple. Ooh. Yeah, it's the triple. Ten percent hazy. Yeah, this triple. is ew, ooh. dude. Let him take a sip. Say, taste that. Taste that, and <laughs> taste, taste how smooth it. it is. That's amazing. That's amazing. That it's like dude, it's so good. It's it tastes uh, like five years. You know what? Of actually, it's reminding me of right now is uh. It's reminding of uh, Pliny. <laughs> it reminds me of Pliny. Pliny, yeah, Pliny the Elder. It's what a good idea. Said uh, Pliny the Elder. Oh yeah. Yeah, it reminds me yeah. of Pliny. That's like because, like I said, it's real. It's real crisp and refreshing. And so yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, Thank well, you. fuck this guy. This guy and Vicky, they go every year. Hey, yeah, they go once a year. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very right, we'll good. Go to, we'll stop embarrassing you now. Uh, we'll, yeah. <laughs> This is my thank show, you. mother. Now I'm just kidding. Right, thank you, Steven. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, thank you, Yeah, of course. And hey, man, we'll yeah, we'll congratulations. do. Well, we'll have a, an actual episode with you yeah, and yeah. with you and the other Steven too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll have a. It'll be a good night. Yeah. I mean, shit, we can probably do it on a night here. Why not? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, we'll do we'll do another live episode. Shit. Sounds good, guys. Yeah, thank Sounds you. Good. Thank you very much, man. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Steven. No, yeah, go take care, man. I know. Get back to work, man. All right. Yeah, man. You want to take a seat? No, one? no. You want to sit back down? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Cool, so yeah. cool guy, man. He's Very real good. Cool. Yeah, real cool guy. Dude. And the I'm, whole. I'm uh, glad we got a load down on the brewery. That was that was mm -hmm. much needed. I was kind of counting on that. I yes. planned it. You planned it mm -hmm. out very well. Oh, uh, hold on. I actually. Uh oh. I, I uh oh. A little bit. There we go. There we go. I have equipment stuff. He's got stuff. Uh, that's all right. I'm good right here. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I don't want to be blocking the line. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that too. Yeah, well, everybody's setting up. But also, uh, we've got to wrap it up probably in about five, ten minutes because the yeah. band's going to start. Uh, we're Very actually going to record them a little bit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah they're going to be my musical guests. You better get their permission, <laughs> bro. Oh, um. shit. <laughs> For real, bro. I got permission from the brewery. Yeah, That's what it is. It's true. They, uh... <laughs> oh, man. God, I'm so bloated already. I've already. I need another beer. I've already pounded like two beers. Oh two beers. Jesus! You only been here for like ten minutes, bro. I know. What? I know. <laughs> and then you got that ten percenter right now. Jesus I've been Christ. busy, bro. Fuck. <laughs> I've been <Shit>. busy. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I've been busy too, dude. Sucking Rob Garman's dick. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I've been, yeah, I've been really kissing up to him. Did, but, you, did you send him an email? Uh, no, I didn't. I'm probably. Should, I, you should, should send him an like, email. Should do it. I should have done that earlier. Morning. That's what I was saying. Like, I was thinking maybe just do it a day later so I don't seem too eager. <laughs> well, like, hey, Randy, you, you know that guy, you know that, guy that you just that was bugging you like you gotta wait, eight you gotta, hours ago? You gotta wait. It's a three day rule, dude. Yeah, it's a three, it's a three day rule. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta met, make sure. You met Friday, you can't hit him up till Monday. Yeah, exactly. To plan out a Friday. <laughs> Next Friday. No, dude. See, I'm going to tell him, like, hey, you know, like, uh, can you do it next? Can we do a good spot next month? Because I'm super busy. I got so many episodes already planned. That's that's what I'm gonna. That's yeah, what I'm gonna go, tell them. Like, 
and then he's gonna look at my page and see that I have like 38 followers. He's gonna and be like, what the fuck? He's gonna check Patreon and realize you're not a fucking subscriber and you're not giving him money. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I know. I should <laughs> see. There you go. I'll buy time, yeah, dude. I'll buy. I'll up. buy time. Just just sign up for like 20 bucks a month and then cancel it. And then cancel it. I know. <laughs> hey, I gave you 20 bucks, motherfucker. Dude, I was looking at. I was looking at. I was thinking of maybe going back to being a, a three star. A three star general, ten bucks, ten bucks a month. Yeah, I was thinking about ad, like uh, the the cool little perks that he does for everybody. It's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was thinking about adding uh, five bucks more. What's that? Uh, <laughs> Ralph Garman has his uh, podcast, The Ralph Report. Uh huh. It's every morning. And it's every morning, after every day. They let him go yeah. for, after they let him go from K Rock, he started his own Patreon podcast, which is basically through that app. You have to. It's a. It's a pay. You subscribe to you it. Subscribe to it, and you pay five bucks a month, and you get it every day. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Five so bucks is the minimum. Videos. No, three bucks is the minimum. Well, three bucks, three is, bucks the is the minimum. But if you pay five, you get uh, exclusive uh, bonus content. content. Yeah, and then uh, if you pay ten, you get a chance to video chat with him. Yeah. And then uh, if you and then it's twenty. If you have twenty, uh, twenty he'll, gets merch. I think. Or this, gets discount, discount, yeah, gets, on discount merch. merch and a personal call from him. Yeah. Every month. Well, he'll pick five random people and call yeah. them. That's right. It's yeah. Weird. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Good. I mean, Patreon's a pretty. A lot of people do this. A lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see yeah. being pretty popular. I mean, shit. He's. I know he's making money. He's yeah. making a living yeah. off of it. But. but if you start getting more subscribers, you should do it. That's what I'm saying. No there one fucking. Go. Dude, I have. I have one subscriber for a dollar a month. That's not bad. really. It'll. It'll add on eventually. Yeah. <laughs> it'll add up eventually. Add up eventually. Yeah. Exactly. I know. Actually, uh, I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm probably gonna start uh, doing going through Stitcher now, to uh, to be my uh, my. Uh, Stitcher. Uh, yeah. What? my what is it domain kind of thing like my yeah i've been using stitcher uh, stitcher's a better platform for mm -hmm. for like at least listening to podcasts personally yeah that's what i use more because because the itunes one uh the apple a lot of people delete it because it takes up a lot of space yeah yeah the, uh, the, the podcast app on iphone that's so like it's constant so if you subscribe to things it constantly is downloading podcasts in the background oh um, yeah so you have to so if you delete the app it won't do that yeah but, uh you know it's stitcher you just stream it you know mm -hmm. but it's, it's it has a down, uh, download also, option you can yeah, download, you can download yeah. also too yeah but it doesn't take up so much fucking but space. i mean that, but yeah if i do stitcher then i can finally get like joe rogan get all of the hollywood babylon episodes and the, you know the whole archive of it yeah and there's also there there's go. a there's a premium you can be, that's that's what I mean. Yeah, premium. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Stitcher, yeah, Stitcher Premium. Will you get free merch or what? Shit, I wish. I want to. Shout right, everybody guys. out or not. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking... The um, band's still setting up. I'm hoping I don't get too drunk by the time the comedy show starts. Oh, that's probably oh, that's not going to happen. You'll be fine. That's probably not going to happen? Yeah, definitely not going to happen. That's You're totally definitely gonna, not going to get right, too drunk. Right. There's no, happen. yeah. It's, <laughs> I, was, I was talking to. This isn't a dare. No, I'm not dare. <laughs> <laughs> it is 100% happening. Yeah. Uh, I want to be. For, all right, are you guys ready for? Uh, when do you become Bill Cosby? <laughs> <laughs> Don't take any drinks from this guy. All right, <laughs> we're gonna do the comedy show now. <laughs> With the laughing and the jokes in the microphone. <laughs> what are... <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm a little... What? <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> you sound like R2-D2. It the... goes a heavy smoke. <laughs> <Whoa, whoa. laughs> uh, with the Pacific and the plate. And the... <laughs> the... the comedy with night the... of five year I anniversary. The How the do Pacific. you... Really drink so much beer with, <laughs> with, with the, the comedy. Oh show, man, I know. With maybe the joking and the drinking <laughs> and the, maybe we should talk about Bill Cosby while the, all these people have their open drinks out right now. Yeah, I know. Really. Really. I know. Cover your <laughs> you fucking quaaludes and shit. <laughs> I cover your drinks of flippity floppers and flippity floppers. The reason why I like Pacific Plate so much because they don't have the coaster that you can cover your drinks with. <laughs> Coaster, I barely even know her. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Where the fuck did this show go? <laughs> oh, man. That's yeah, I should probably ask them how for like this. It's just stuff. a taste, bro. <laughs> I don't know, maybe just get <laughs> what, what's, the what's the come? What's the come? Whoa, that's oh, what I mean. Come whether you like it or not. <laughs>
Yeah, you um, should. I don't know if uh, I mean I don't know. If, I'm sure they're gonna be cool with it. They're cool guys, but you should ask them if it's okay if you live stream them and just be nice, dude. Record it. Well, I'm only gonna live stream for like a song or two. That's it. So are you waiting for them to start? Because they're actually getting ready. Yeah, they are getting ready. Actually, everybody could see that too. Oh, they can see yeah. that. I got them. Nice. If I just move my head. <laughs> if I just duck down on the table real I quick. I think I only got five comics tonight, including myself. But they're real. Yeah. They're heavy hitters, and I had two bail on me, so I don't know. Ah. Uh, I'm trying to get. Dude, a lot of a lot of people are gonna show up tonight, though, especially because it's Saturday. Yeah, I know, but I'm. I just I just mean like. Wait, what did you say? Did you invite Norm McDonald? Did you invite Burt Reynolds, dude? Norm. <laughs> Dude, speaking of speaking of Bill Cosby, have you ever heard Norm Macdonald talk about Bill Cosby? No. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so good, funny dude. because I don't think he likes him, or I don't think he ever did. Yeah. And so, like, uh, so he, but so, but his response by people hearing about this, he never said anything bad about him. He'd just always be like, "Oh, Bill Cosby, he's just he's a great guy," you know. He's like, you know, you know, not one person I've ever met has anything bad to say about Bill Cosby, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and he would always say, he's like, yeah. and they'd be like, so what, how was it being on the road? He's like, well, you know, he's a great guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just wasn't being too direct. Yeah, uh... just... <laughs> and he's like, uh, he's like, he wanted to meet my dad, you know, and I didn't have the heart to tell him that my dad had been dead for four years. <laughs> it's like, oh so I just God. gave him a random phone number to call my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave her a hello, <laughs> Norm, Mr. Donald. <laughs> All right, I'm supposed to introduce these guys, so I better get something. I'm supposed to yeah, make an announcement. Oh, here, then you ask him then, since you're going to go out there. Uh, okay, I'll tell Yeah, you ask him. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Ah! Oh, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. I, mu I muted it. It's all good. We're good. <laughs> All right, all right. But yeah, dude, that mic fucking picks up everything, dude. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's a really good mic. This is a nice first live podcast. It was. It was fun, huh? Yeah, I just interesting. Hope, uh, I don't think the band will mind. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'll mind either. But I think I need a beer. Go ahead and get a beer, dude. I mean, you want a beer too? Uh. Sh I wonder if they can bring beers to us. I was just gonna say that. I wonder if Vicky will bring me a beer. Perhaps, maybe. I well, she's at the front. She'll open. probably. She'll probably. Uh, oh, speaking probably of beers and drinking, mm -hmm. the other night I went out to a, a bar out by where I live. Uh, the first time I went out to this bar, right? Yeah. And I was looking for Guinness on tap, and they didn't have it. Guinness on tap? A, Look at you, motherfucker! You, who do you think you are, Liam Neeson? Uh, I'm an Irishman. I need. I know. I need my Irish beer. <laughs> Uh, I, went, I met some Irish chicken in Vegas, and I, ever since then, I just fell in love with Irish. <laughs> you, ever since then, all you drank was Guinness? All I drink is Guinness and whiskey. And... Cool. We got the okay to record uh, the... All right. All right. The Sagittarius? Stedmans. The Stedmans. Sagittarius. Stedmans. Stedmans. The Stedmans. 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 But uh, what were you saying about you were looking for this bar? Not Irish. Oh, so yeah. So I was trying to look for Guinness. Couldn't find any Guinness. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Hello. You want to say hello? Oh, you, you can... We're this recording is, uh, a podcast right now, actually. Okay. What's the name of your podcast? Or... This is Rat, Rat Talk. Talk. Yep. We actually got shirts and everything. Huh? Yeah, so we got shirts and everything. We don't sell the shirts. I mean, Come we just on, have shirts. <laughs> but yeah, you can go to take a seat. Hello. How's it going? What's your name? I'm good. How are you? I'm, my name is Kylie Jade. Kylie, Kylie Jade. Jade. Yes. That sounds, that sounds very extravagant. Kylie Jade. Yes. Are you like a model or something? Like, is that a... No, um, I'm a singer. So. Oh, see, there you go. Hey, yeah. you got a lot of fucking there talent in go. here. Right. Are you playing in one of the bands tonight? Not tonight, oh, but okay. yeah, I'm usually here on their acoustic nights. Oh, oh awesome. no way. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Damn, I haven't made it to one of their acoustic nights yet. So you should. It's I know, really good. yeah, I really I'm should. I'm going to be hosting on September 30th. You really yeah. hosting it? It's at the end of the month. There you go. There you go. So Come you're familiar with the, with the brewery then, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> so, what kind, what, kind of, uh, what kind of singing do you do? Alternative. Okay, music, right on. Yeah. And you, uh, okay, so you do the acoustic, is it only acoustic stuff or you play with a lot live band also? Um, I have a live band, but because mm -hmm. of their sound restrictions, normally we have to use like, instead of drums, I use like a horn and oh, acoustic guitar. Okay. Oh, I see. Right on. Are you, okay, so you do covers? Yes. Nice. I do covers for now and um, I'm writing my own stuff right now. So oh, right. Yeah. How long have you what been singing come? for? I've been singing since high school or like even when i was younger but actually officially in high school when i joined a choir and mm. then now i sing for my church and um so i oh, can do right stuff on. on my own oh that's congratulations awesome. i know that's Thank super you. cool hey, um fuck i just had another question i just lost it right now it's okay take your time 
where can uh, people look you up? Shout out your uh, Instagram. There you go. Instagram, that's what you have? Yes, KJ2141. There you go. JJ2141? Yeah. 2141? I'm going to look that up right now. Yeah, we I'm going to make sure you're real. Post it up on you. <laughs> She's real. I'm, I'm here. here. I'm, I'm, here. Sure. I'm physically present. <laughs> She's right in front of us, dude. Come on. So you're enjoying but, uh, the uh, Pacific Plate fifth year anniversary? Yes. Nice. You tried their uh, mm -hmm. five year anniversary special? Oh, yeah. It's nice. so good. There you go. It's so good. The rainbow sherbet one is still like that's, that's my favorite. That is so good. I really hope they keep that one. I really, oh, yeah. yeah. I hope that's a permanent staple here. I'm sure it will be. But that's so well, cool that you're here. That like, you're here supporting the. You know that you're not only not only you're just supporting the brewery, but you're also one of the acts too. Like you, you help keep this place alive, pretty much. I right? try. So, I try. Yeah. I know that's so awesome. Well, thank Definitely you. Definitely very honored for being part of it. <laughs> Oh yeah, well we're honored that you're part of this now. Shit, yeah, I mean now we got on. yeah, now it's we have crazy. more people. I know, <laughs> I don't right. I mean, you just pop it up out of nowhere, dude. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so hopefully you'll see us around at the next acoustic night. I think we might stream the next one. I hope so. I hope so too. Do you, yeah, uh, do you do what what other shows do you do other than the uh, the acoustic night, dude? Um, but, so far that's it for now. I'm mm -hmm. definitely working on expanding, working on my own music and everything. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Um, definitely if you follow me on Instagram, and I'll help. I'll have some JJ two. Two one four one. KJ. KJ. Yeah. Two one four one. KJ. Two one four one. Yes. KJ. All right. I got it now. Now I really have to remember that. Now I just don't want to be a dick and forget again. It'll be fine. I know. But thanks for coming. But hey. On. No, thank you. This yeah, is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I know. They, hey, I mean, if we get to know each other better, maybe we'll have you on for a full episode. I already got one with Absolutely. Steven. I know. See, there That'd you go. That'd be awesome. We'll have a bunch of shit to talk about. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so, Kayla. Kylie. Kylie. Yes. Kylie Jade. Kylie Jade. Yep, there you go. Thank you, Kylie Jade. Thank you. Have a great night. <laughs> you too. All right, guys. Uh, so it looks like the band's going to be starting check, up pretty check, soon. Yeah. They're doing sound check. Sound check, dude. So we're going to let the live stream run. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hop off the mic. We'll grab myself a brewski. I'll yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and grab it. Thanks yeah. for having me on, buddy. I'll dude, thank you for too. coming. Yeah, thank you for being yeah. with this uh, this new milestone that we got. Now we're just all mile breaking milestones all over the place. This is how people knew to come by. There you go. Rats off. Rats <laughs> I mean, it wasn't the, the computer and the soundboard and the Not mics wrong. and Not the right. headphones. The computer good. and the soundboard and the mic. The computer and the soundboard. <laughs> but yeah, that, I, I'm pretty sure that's what gave it away. This is a podcast, dude. It was the shirt, dude. It was the shirt. It definitely was the shirt, man. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, dude. Vincent, out. Oh. All right, people. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let the, the cameras roll. And uh, like there she is, KJ2, KJ, or yeah, KJ2141. Boom, followed. Awesome. Well, thank you guys, uh, everybody that tuned in and was hanging out with us. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and let the uh, the microphones roll and go ahead and you'll enjoy some live fucking music, man. Uh, thank you. And this has been another episode of Rat Talk, uh, the first ever live Rat Talk show, guys. So hopefully uh, you'll be seeing more of these shows. Thank you very much.
right, we have SGP vibes later on tonight. We got a coffee shop, but right now we have the steady. It's giving up for right now. Come on.
I think very much, guys. I'll see everyone in the stadium. Um, LA. I got to do it tonight. Woo! LA.